Hi guys, welcome to PG All in One. In today's video, we will learn how to generate GST R1 return from Tally and upload it on GST website. So first of all, open your Tally software, then click on Display option, which you display on main page. Then uh, you will get a statutory report option. Click on it. Then you will see a GST option. Click on it. After clicking on GST option, you will see a GST R option. Click on it. You can click on GSTR1, GSTR2, and GSTR3B, whichever you want. Uh, so I click on GSTR1. So after that, you um, can see at the right hand side uh, one option that is e return. Click on it. So after clicking on the e return, you will do date. So you have to select the date, means you have to enter the trade for which you want to export it so after that you will see the location of, of file will be displayed where your gstr1 file will be exported click on yes and your file will be exported now convert this file into json format if you don't know how to convert the file into json format then watch my another video which is on how to convert gstr1 or excel file into json format and how to upload it online so after converting the file your json file will be ready to upload on gst website so now go to gst website and login with your id and password then go to return dashboard then select month and click on search button in blue color uh, the search button is so click on the uh, after that click on prepare offline option under uh, details of outward supply of goods and service you can see prepare online and offline option you can uh, click on prepare offline then click on invoice upload select your saved gson file which you have saved so you will get a message on that G your gson file will be has been uploaded successfully the gst system will validate your data and you have to check your status after 15 minutes after 15 minutes again go to gst website login with your id and password then go to return dashboard option select month and click on search then click on gstr prepare offline option and you will see your status at the bottom below invoice uploaded if the status is done as process then go to return dashboard select month and click on gstr one prepare online you can see your data visible which was entered by you in a gstr excel template or excel utility file you can modify the uploaded data here now you can verify and submit the return please note that after submitting your return you can't make any change in it so before submitting check the return twice so and you can submit your return by digital signature certificate or evc hope this will help you in filing your return successfully and uploading your return and if you like this video please hit like button and subscribe pg all in one you can watch my other video on gstr transaction one and other so please check my channel for other video thank you guys for watching